The OpenStack Special Interest Groups, or SIGs, are a fairly new feature of OpenStack governance. They are groups of people that discuss a topic or a practice that spans all of the various project communities. At this PTG, I spoke with the Scientific SIG and also the API SIG. In this interview, I'm speaking with Michael McCune from the API SIG about their work in the Queen's cycle and what's coming in Rocky. Let's start with an introduction. Tell us who you are and what you work on. Uh, my name is Michael McCune, and I'm one of the co-chairs of the API SIG, and I work for Red Hat. And what is the API SIG responsible for? So the API SIG, which was formerly the API Working Group, um, formed several years ago to help improve the consistency of the REST APIs that exist within OpenStack. Now we're starting to expand that message a little bit to look at also SDKs and, and go beyond just the rest, uh, just REST APIs. In the Queen cycle, what what happened? What did you all get done? Well, so we had a, a few merges during the Queen cycle. In general, uh, the API SIG produces <coughs> guidelines that the rest of the community can consume to help uh, inform them about how they can be more consistent with the other services in uh, OpenStack. And we had a, a couple guidelines that got merged this time, mainly about the extensions and the use of extensions in projects and, and our advice kind of against adding those. Um, and just a few other kind of minor updates to our guidelines, but nothing, nothing major this cycle. A lot of the work we did was outreach with other projects to help them improve their APIs or provide guidance when necessary. How does that go? Did it, are the projects generally cooperative with that? Yeah, I mean, we have really good responses from the projects that we work with. So in general, um, you know, some people know about us, some people don't know about us. And when projects are looking for guidance about how they can improve their APIs, or perhaps if they have a, a problem they're trying to solve, you know, something like, for example, how do they implement pagination within their API, we've produced guidelines that they can go back to and look at. And oftentimes that kind of helps resolve disputes that come up within the projects. And so it goes really well usually when we interact with project teams because usually they have a problem they want to solve and they're not sure the right solution. Generally, we, we work with projects that are looking to improve their APIs and make them more consistent. And we have a really good response from, from projects that interact with the guidelines we've produced. And oftentimes it comes down to um, resolving disputes in kind of an equitable manner where a project might be looking at multiple implementations for how they can do something and they're not really sure how they want to achieve that. Um, and so the guidance that we've created has come from the OpenStack community, and uh, really it just it helps them move forward in a rapid manner. I, I guess I didn't know that there was a formal group that was doing this. How long have you been, how long has this effort been going on? So I think we started as a working group around Icehouse. So okay. it's been for several years been now. Yeah, that we've been going. And um, I, if I'm not mistaken, the API working group was the first group to become an, uh, an official SIG. And that happened, I think it was during the Queen's cycle. So that was probably another big thing that happened during Queen's is that you know, we were one of the first groups that started to, to move in this direction of creating SIGs as opposed to working groups. Um, and the big difference there is that in the past, I think uh, the working groups you know, kind of went on as long-term bodies. But um, I think the governance uh, you know, organization now wants, wants to see working groups as a shorter-term thing with like a, a finite goal, whereas the SIGs are a little broader and can have um, a longer length of time to their existence. Do you have any specific goals for the Rocky Cycle? Yeah, so one of the big goals that we have is uh, we're trying to improve our outreach to the SDK and user committee uh, communities. And so what we'd like to do, and, and we started doing this in Queens, but it's, it's been slow going so far, is we'd like to improve those communications so that the API SIG isn't seen as just a place for developers. Um, it can be a place where the user committee can also get input onto things that are happening around the OpenStack community. So we started off looking mainly at REST APIs and how we can improve the consistency, but we'd really like to improve the consistency for APIs across the board and really provide advice where we can. So starting in Queens, we started to look at how we can, how we can interface with those communities a little more, the SDK and, and user committees. And so hopefully that will, that will continue in Rocky. So this isn't just inward facing to OpenStack, the people that are building applications on, on top of OpenStack? We, we would like to get there, yeah. I mean, originally we started as just internal to OpenStack, but yeah. now, um, you know, we've had, as we moved into a SIG, one of the, one of the things that kind of came up was that 
we would like to improve that messaging and see how we can reach out to um, you know the different SDK communities. There's, there's many different SDKs for OpenStack now, and hopefully we can provide guidance there and, and maybe provide a meeting place where you know common disputes can be resolved. How hard is it for someone to, to come in and join that? Um, what do they have to know first? Well, it is not hard at all, and you don't really need to know anything. Um, we have guidelines that are published on specs.openstack.org, and we have a wiki page on the OpenStack wiki. Uh, we hold meetings every week, and uh, we invite anybody to come to those meetings and ask questions and just uh, get involved. Even if even if you don't have a lot of knowledge about APIs or you're just curious, um, yeah, we, we welcome anyone to come and ask questions, and you know, we'll try to help as much as possible. And from the project side, if the project is looking for guidance, they should come to, to your IRC channel? Uh, well, so we hang out in the OpenStack SDK IRC channel, and yeah, you can come ping us there, uh, myself or Ed Leaf or Chris Dent or Dimitri Tensor. Um, we're all the, the co-chairs of the SIG right now. Uh, we also listen to the Devel mailing list, if you just tag it with API. And we send out weekly newsletters as well, so you can see our progress there. And so get in touch with us through any of those means, and, and we'd be more than happy to help with uh, you know disputes or just uh, friendly discussions. So, thank you very much. And thank you.